I want to thank you for coming back and joining us again for Daily Manna. This week we're talking about making gods out of other things in our life. Sunday, go back to Sunday and watch that and down through the week. I want you to look at everyone this week and get, get the whole of what I'm trying to show you. How easy it is to make gods out of something that is our common in our lives. Today I'm going to talk about the God of pride. Making a God out of pride. One of the biggest temptations we face in our life, even as a Christian, is that of pride. Everyone wants to look good in the eyes of others. But it can get away from us, and we start craving the praises and adulation of others. John warned about us about this in one of his writings, 1 John 2 and 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the world. Then Paul wrote in Romans to the Romans in 12 and 16, Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. I have gone into churches before where people wouldn't even want to come shake your hand because they just didn't know who you were. They had, you had to qualify yourself before they would even want to shake your hand. If they thought, well, maybe they're beneath me or, or, you know, but we can't have those kind of attitudes. Do we sometimes think of ourselves more than what we really are? I mean, I know what I am. I'm a sinner saved by grace. Without God, I would be nothing. God has made me anything that I might be, and it's to him be the credit. We're all sinners saved by grace. All, all that we are and all that we ever hope to be is in God's hands. All that we've become, you say, well, you know, I've done this and I've done this and I've climbed mountains and I've gone there and I've crossed deserts. and Yeah, but you did it in the grace of God. God made a way for you to do that. Thus, we should give him the praise and not take it all, all uh, onto ourselves. We shouldn't do that. Give God the glory for everything in your life. Romans 12 and 2, Paul put it like this. For by grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment. In accordance with the measure of faith, God has given, given you. Galatians 6 and 3, he wrote again, If anyone thinks he is something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. Look at yourself in the eyes of Christ. What we are, we are because of the sacrifice of Calvary. All that we accomplish. Yes, we're able to do things. Yes, you're, you're able to do things with your hands, with your mind, with, with your abilities. Yes, you are. But you can't let pride creep in and make you feel better than anybody else. There is an answer, and that answer is to humble yourself before the Lord humbles you. I mean, God takes a two before sometimes. So, so humble yourself. James 4 and 10 said, Humble yourself before the Lord, and he will lift you up. One place he told them, You take the lower seat when you go in, and then you might be asked to take the higher seat. Humble yourself. I pray this week that you'll take a look at your life and ask yourself, Am I serving the God of pride because the devil that's what got him kicked out of heaven come on am I serving the God of pride and look look seriously at yourself a am I talking about myself more than anything else am I lifting myself up to others and bragging about myself all the time take a look at that and see I'm going to pray for you right now. Father, I pray that this week they could take a look into their lives and their heart, all my viewers, and search themselves deeply to see if pride creeps in. That maybe 
they're thinking a little more highly of their self than they should. And Father, just help them to humble themselves before you because when they humble themselves before you, then you can elevate them and then you can lift them up, Father. And I pray for this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Remember, with God, all things are possible. <music>